Minister, good morning. That's, of course, very important that we give that message to China, that we will be uh, very firmly looking into uh, human rights uh, situation in Hong Kong the years to come. The best is that we, we do the same in uh, the EU group. So, so that, that's what we want. And we are open. I, I, I can see advantages not to be there, but also to be there. So, so, so I, I, I haven't decided yet. What is very important to us is that we have support among our allies and across the European Union that the government of Hong Kong should include an elected democratic legislative council and I'll be looking for a text today that repeats that message. We are determined to make sure that the terms of the joint declaration are fulfilled. We want to make sure that Hong Kong can both prosper as an economy and also retain its freedoms and civil liberties. We have very clearly signaled that we will be monitoring carefully what happens after the handover and in the event that the joint declaration is not fulfilled, we will certainly be looking for international support.